Hey everybody, Harry here. Welcome back to All The Mods 8. So let's get started. But before we do that, remember to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you do enjoy this series. And I will see you all in the comments with some bits and pieces of knowledge that you may have that I need help on. But yeah, got a lot to do today. One is actually going into this and coming all the way down to our crafting area. Or can I... Craftables, there we go. So, so I have set these crafts up. The reason I've done this is for the quest book because down here we can go all the way up to infinite storage and we just need to craft these parts and it takes a bit of time. But I will obviously complete the quests while doing these. So I th can't actually remember now. So it's 1024 is the first one. So we need to craft one of these. Oh wow, this just takes so much time. So I upgraded the crafter to netherite, with, and we've obviously got the speed upgrades in here. So it goes at 225 times normal speed. So this is taking time. And I think it's the raw processors because they have to get all smelted. Do they not? Yeah. They're over here. Hmm, I might need to upgrade this as well. In fact, I should have a crafter of gold, which we could use to make this. This is a diamond one. And then actually, we could craft the netherite one. I just need... Two more blocks of netherite. One, two. And there we go. So if I take all this stuff out of here, destroy that, and then do that, and then we need. Will this work? No. We need the range from refined storage. There we go. Oh. Or not, because I'm an empty. And then I can throw all this stuff back in here. And that should go a lot, lot, lot quicker. Hopefully. I don't know yet. How are we doing? Right, that seems to have finished crafting. So, storage. And then it's there, so I can pop that in there, get the quest. Simple. Now I need this one, so we'll start that. Start it off. And it looks like it's going a bit faster. Because obviously we've got all the processes to go through, the processors, there's 520 to get made. Wow. I'm so happy that I set this up to run, like, automatically. So, yeah, it's handy. Whoa, that's it finished. That was super quick. I'm going to throw that there. Get that quest. So that was 446. We need the 16 one now. Is correct? Yep. 18,000... No, 1,800... Basic processors for this. Oh, and an all the modding we can get. This is absolutely crazy. Done. That was actually so cool to see. And there we have that. 16,384,000. Which is 16 million storage part. So I'm going to see. We need the, th the purple one next. Which is 65 million. This needs 5,800 basic processors. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is crazy. And oh, wait, goes. It's so fun to watch. So that says 65 million. And then it is the red one. 
Yes, red, green. So this one, and then this one. So, what is this? Um, I can't make it. This is what if I spelt this wrong? No. What is this? Right, wait a minute. What? What is this? Like I have no idea what this is for. If I may stop and put this as the wrong What is this? Where did this silicon come from? Like I don't get it. Like it's not it's not even here. Like you can't even craft it. So do so how am I supposed to build this? Right, wait a minute. What is going on? I think there has been a mix up something and I'm going to put that there get this out and then I'm going to put these two together put that in that out do that now I am extremely confused Because uh, I have no idea why that is doing that. None whatsoever. Um, but I don't think I can get all the way up to the infinite one today because this is extremely low. Pipes. Uh, yeah, I think we'll get into that instead. Anyway, there was something I was wanting to do today. And I have completely forgot what it was. So the other thing I wanted to do is actually get this one out of the way for the, the all the mod star. The creative essence is probably going to be one of the easier ones to make. Um, just because it is. So I need, what was it? Four blocks of the gemstone. That's nine a block. So that's 36 diamonds. And that is 72 pieces of insanium. And then obviously four of these. It should, shouldn't should take so long. Uh, hopefully everything is uh, moved across so far. So I need the mystical. Nope. Um, why? Yes, this stuff here. So I need the Master Infusion Crystal, I need the Shards, and then I need these. And, that. and I just make as many blocks as possible. I think 3000 will be fine. And then I take these away, do this. And then get up to the Supremium. Yeah, I think that's enough. Hopefully. So I now need some diamonds, like so. And then is it just that? Yeah. And then I need 36 of these. Uh, 
da. And that's them. And then four of these. And then I craft the creative essence. Done. Our first, first part of the old modern star completed. We get a pedestal. We also get a luminous ch crystal shard. Whatever that is. But we also get a pedestal. And I can remove this, place this, and pop that on it. And that is our first thing done. Creative Essence. We also got the Master of Creation Sword, which is a lot less powerful than the one we have just now, but, ah well, can't do anything about that. So we have done our first quest thing. It's, it's super cool. Ooh. We also need to get some Awakened Supremium Essence. What's this for? I have no idea what this is for. I am sure we will find out. Ooh, what'd I get? I got a Supremium Coal Block? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so next up, I do want to get into the Power Mod. And that involves doing this stuff here. Now, I have been kind of told that power is better for power generation. So what we've got just now is like a good starter reactor. But if we get all the way up to the, the top tier reactor, the nitro reactor, this thing here can do 250,000 FE a tick. Now, this thing over here is this big. And when powered on, does... 244,000 FE, I think, or RF, so smaller size, more power, which means more reactors, so we could get, what, four in here, so that's a million FE, I think, I think that would be better, and I also think that the power transfer is a lot better than the flux stuff. Although, it's good early game, I think, this. Obviously, you can get this stuff early, early game, but I think this is easier to make early game. Not 100 on that. But, power mod is something I really do want to get into and look into. So, let's get power. Power. So I got the book. We have got the generators, storage, functional box, items, and materials. And this is where the urinate ore comes in and the dry ice. So we can make generators and reactors and things. Things. And oh yeah, it kind of just shows you what it all goes up to. So two million FET attack is mag extract. Capacity of 500 million. Ooh, that is a lot. Um, but yeah, I have no idea how this mod works. So I'm just going to kind of run through the starting thing and kind of hoping I can make a lot of stuff. So make a load of paste. So I believe this is very, very useful. Um, early game need two of them and then the diet oh nope 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 okay and we do the casing and we create the charger what why did I only get half of it? No, I got it. That was weird. Um, and then I created the discharger, which is here. And does that not 
Why am I? Oh, do I need to create that? Oh no, I need to do this first. Ah, and then I need to create this stuff. One, two, three. Oh no, I think I already had that. What did I need? I need cables anyway. Uh, I need the I need the starter. This one. There we go. And I think we need a lot more than them that I thought. Need three, and an energizing orb. Oh, do these not stack? No, they don't. That's annoying. Um, yeah, the energizing orb. Done. That'll give us that quest and some starter cable. And all this stuff now opens up. Nice. There we go. And the energy cable for basic. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think that's that. Now this, so the energizing orb will energize items using nearby energizing rods within a nine by nine area around it, creating better materials for you to use to progress through the tiers and power. To power the orb, you need to attach energizing rods to the energy cable that are being supplied with energy. If you want the orb to energize faster, either make more rods Upgrade to higher tier rods or both. To see if the rods are connected, set your rent range. What range? Ah, oh, there's a power range. Is that the purple one? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So I need what are these? They're, they are cables. I need the cables. Um oh I have the basic tier bed cables, that's cool. Right, so over here, I'm going to pop it here, and then I think it can be a block above it. So I'm going to do this. Can I put that in the middle? I don't know. Okay, is that going to be high enough? Right, where's my wrench? So... Nope. Nope. Oh my gosh. So, what do you do? To see... Set your wrench to link mode. Ah! Oh! Yeah! Right, okay. I like that. Right, so we need more of those rods. These ones. Man, if I've got three, I need six. There we go. And then all the way down to starter. And then I need six of these. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. And then I can just place these like so. Oh, I wonder if I can use that. Oh, I can. Nice. And then obviously these need power. So I think this ender cell is something I can make. Uh, no. It is not. So can I just put a point on these then? Yes. So that's doing 600 FE attack. Stored is 10,000. That's like that. So. I've done that. I want to get all the way up to the nitro. 
obviously that's going to take a bit of time but i think i need the endo cells yeah this so i need to make one of these so i need the di dielectric casing basic capacitor and an eye of ender and then one of these now do i just pop them in oh it's doing something <gasps> Ooh, it worked and then i need to make not the energy cell the ender cell and i get two of these do they not stack no why would i get two then and max input and output is 1000 fe a tick and this doesn't use a lot so i think i'm going to set up this to work hmm are you? No, I don't think that actually works like that. That's fine. I can work with the point a lot easier. Right, so that worked for that. So we now have a starter ender cell. Um, I can get the player transmitter stuff. I think this is a bit better. Um... How, how do you get the aerial peril? And how do you get the binding card? Aerial peril. I need these. Okay. And then I need the blank card. Yeah. And I use the blank card to make binding card like so and then I just need to go and find oh oh nice a zombie and an enderman the enderman will be easy like super easy I just need to go to the end portal and also jump on through The zombie might be a bit harder. Yeah, that's up. Oh, that might be a smart idea. There's this thing over here. I forgot about this. Might have a zombie spawner. Or even a husk. Here's something. Aha! You are deadly. Where did you go? Oh, you're a skeleton anyway. Hmm. Oh, I hear zombies. Husk! Husk spawner. You. What are you? You're a husk. Yes, we got it. Perfect. Let's head home. Alright, so I got both of those things. I need to build this now. It sh shouldn't be too hard. I thought I had one use. Did I not make it? Must not have. So this thing here does um, 1000 FE tick of um, don't know, I'm, I'm actually right click to bind ah right and I can put that in there and then is that working? 
Right, it's getting power. Okay. So if I come over here and turn off the wireless. It's going down. And it's going back up. Cool. It is very slow. But do you know what? It works. So it might be a case that it'll be good enough for what we need at the moment. So there we go. And yeah, we've done a lot better. And it slowly builds up. And if we get the, the nitro, whoa, 2 million FE a tick. Yeah, that's nuts. What does the generator do? The reactor? 250 FE a tick. Mmm. That might be a bit of a meh. Now, the thing is that you need to always have the previous item, like the battery sort of thing. Like, so that battery makes that battery, and that battery makes that battery, and all that sort of stuff. Um. And then obviously these kind of crystals are made in a weird way. But I will say the Ender Gate thing is quite good. Especially if you can go all the way up to the Nitro when it does a million F you tick. Like if you're making that much energy then you're laughing. But the thing is these are the expensive stuff. So that needs... Can I do blocks? I can. Oh, that just made everything so much easier. So, block of iron and gold. Now, can I? No. No. I can't put in a stack at a time. That would be amazing, but no, we can't. But we're getting blazing ingots now, which is amazing. And I know there is a way to set up automation on this, but it's kind of finagly. I don't think it's the best of thing. Uh, blazing crystals are blaze rods. That's easy. I'm sure I have some blaze rods. Kicking about. Oh, I've got another Wandering Trader spoiler. And we will get Blaze Rod. Stick one of them in. Get a Blaze Crystal out. Awesome. Oh, we got some blazing stuff there. And uh, Niotic Crystal is diamonds. That's a lot of energy. So I think. Upgrading everything as we go along is just going to be so much better. So that's basic cables. So if we take the the basic rods and and these blocks of quartz and these oh right. So yeah, we've got these, that's fine. And I think I can just throw all them in like that. There we go. Right, so these hold 40,000 now. So that's handy. So that should be enough for me to grab a diamond and just blast it like so. Oh yeah, that's faster. That's so much faster. There we go. And that's the Niotic Crystal. Complete. We also got the energy cable thing from that. Now the Spirited Crystals is Emerald and a million FE. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. So the hardened cables and the hardened energizing rod. They need a hardened capacitor. I need 18. That's 8. Do I not have any more? This 
steel and stuff. I love how quick that is. Hmm, I thought I had more. Obviously not. So I need two of each, so that is 18, yes. It's 14. Oh, these things. These things are going to be my pain in the neck. Oh, that's 18. And then we need the basic rods and we need more of these. Yeah, that should be enough. Right, let's crack these off. Throw them all in, apart from one. And do that. What is, is that quartz as well? Oh. And that should be nine. So that's just got more power. How much do these go up to? A hundred thousand. Wow. There we go. Now, does the orb go up any further? I don't know. And then we need the cable as well. Ooh. Before I forget that. Um, I need more some energizing steel. So I need iron and gold. There we go. Can we do two? Oh, can I just fill this up? Because that would be amazing. Uh, I think I messed it up. Can I take them out? Can I do this? No. One at a time. Right, that should be more than enough. Hardened steel. Oh, I get lots of cables from that. That's fine. Take the oh oh oh. I don't want that down. Um, let's get these cables back on. Oh, and I think these just transfer power. I just that wee bit faster. So five thousand fe a tick. That's a lot better. And I didn't want to do that. Right, so they went really quick. Perfect. So now get the hardened energized rods, hardened cable. Next we're up to Blaze. Yeah. We're getting there. Slowly but surely getting there. And what is the end of 40,000 FE attack? That's really good. Hmm. Got an extra hardened. Okay, so that's that. It is now onto the blazing and the blazing cable. So we need the blazing crystals. So I need to get a lot of them made up. So it might be a case of automating the blazing crystals and things like that. That may be a smart move. Uh, obviously, the problem is you only can put one at a time. Yeah, the problem is that. I wonder if, like, a hopper? Would a hopper work? Probably not. Because of... No, gosh, no. Um, okay, let's take that out. Yeah, we're going to need to use the, the, the stuff that actually works and sort of limit it. I would need to figure that one out. And I think Alfred has a good sort of instruction video on that one. So I will need to figure that one out. Yeah, I'm going to go and make up a load of these.